Well, hello, and welcome to Thoughts from a Car. My name's Carl, I'll be your host again. It's been a while. Um, there's a lot of things going on in my life at the moment. Most of them good. <laughs> uh, the big news is today is the 23rd of June. It's Sunday afternoon. I just dropped Nikki off at work, and I'm cruising for enjoying the sun. Uh, the big news is on Friday... I actually booked the venue for a wedding, our wedding, and we're going to be getting married on September the 21st, Nikki and I, at the Butterfly Conservatory in Niagara Falls, which is a tropical place featuring thousands and thousands of butterflies, and we basically booked the place after hours, uh, for a couple of hours, while we and our guests go and uh, enjoy the butterflies, but you don't eat them, you're not allowed to eat them. I asked. Uh, so, we're not doing the $10,000 wedding thing because it's not really necessary when you get to a certain age. However, I do want to do it properly because although I've done it before, Nikki hasn't, and I want it to be something that she's going to really remember and enjoy. So, Butterfly Conservatory, beautiful. And we're not having a proper reception with the champagne dinner, uh, suits and dresses and cocktails and hors d'oeuvres, because that's just not who we are. Traditional or not, it wouldn't be us and it wouldn't be the people that we're inviting either. So, we're going for a buffet, and I'm going to be booking that tomorrow when the um, doors are open, and that's going to be at the Skylon Tower which is the place in Niagara Falls. Um, and it's in the Summit Suite dining room. So what happens there is basically you go up, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and you just tuck in, and there's a licensed bar, and if people want their drinks, do whatever they want. And then we'll either all hang out later, or we can... Um, do our own thing, go to the casino, whatever, it's all kind of loose. But yeah, Butterfly Conservatory followed by the Skyline Tower. Isn't that beautiful? I think it is. And um, then we're going on a honeymoon. Now that does need to be discussed because a couple of practicalities of um, where we're going to go and how we're going to get there. Whatever it shakes down as, it's going to probably be a road trip, we're just going to get the car two weeks off and head up the east coast so we'll, we'll ultimately the pl ideally we'd like to go through Maine uh, both being Stephen King fans it would be nice to see Bangor Maine and all the places that he wrote about in his books practicalities that may not happen if it doesn't we'll just go up the east coast to Nova Scotia and check out the Bay of Fundy which is the highest tides in the world um, maybe do a little whale watching that would be nice um, and just enjoy the scenery so we'll be going out we're either going out through New York State into Maine or we're going up through Ontario and Quebec out to Nova Scotia so it's a, a long drive we're talking about 1500 kilometers or something like that so a thousand miles each way uh, but that's not a problem. I like driving. She likes driving. We'll load up the iPods and the uh, uh, Nexus 7s and away we'll go. And just enjoy each other's company. Because that's what we do. That's the way we roll. So, um, that's the big news. September 21. Friends and relatives, all welcome to... No, uh, oh, well... Mm. It's not an open house. It's, uh, you know, there'll be an invitational list which we have yet to finalise. But when we do get back into town, we'll be having one hell of a party. So uh, anybody that wants to meet us downtown, we'll let you know the place, and you can come out and you can get completely off your head with us. That would be much appreciated. So uh, that's it. Hmm. Good stuff. I'm a happy chappy and um, looking forward to the next three months.
and in fact the next 30 years or however long. Never thought I would do it again. I don't think anybody ever thought I would do it again. Nobody was more surprised than me when I actually asked Nikki to marry me. I was just talking to her one day and I stopped in mid-sentence and just went bloop. Anybody that's actually checked out the rest of my YouTube channel will have seen the engagement video where I actually gave her the ring. She cried. Girly. Which is a better reaction than I was expecting. I thought she might just hit me because I just went and bought the ring. Um, hmm. Happy times. All happy times. Anyway, that's enough for now. It's uh, been going long enough. This is just a short one to talk about this. I wanted to give people a chance to enjoy the wonderful scenery around me because I've actually found roads with a bend in them. You may have noticed in the video. It does make it a lot more interesting to watch. I'm sure you noticed that. I did. Anyway, that's enough of this. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thanks again for watching. As always, uh, my name's Carl, and I'll see you in the next video. Sayonara.